fruit drop is not uncommon in trees. And a lot of times we'll see a lot of fruit drop when it happens in sometime in June and people get really nervous about that because they don't understand why. So fruit drop or June drop is its common name. It is a physiological issue. Essentially, it's a shortfall of food of carbohydrates that are in that actual tree. And what it is, is that there's limited photosynthesis that's actually occurring in the trees. And so fruits need an abundant amount of those carbohydrates, enough from photosynthesis in order for that fruit to grow to the size of what it needs to do. If there's not enough leaf growth, especially when the trees are much smaller and it's set in a lot of flowers with fruit, it's going to naturally have the lesser of those fruits are going to be able to fall and drop to the ground. It's kind of like a survival of the fittest of the trees, if we think about it in that fashion. Now, what you can do is go ahead and prune off some of those smallers. A lot of times the, our fruits will come in bunches. And as you're looking at that bunch of like two, three, or four of those apples or peaches together, look at those that are the smallest or those that look healthiest without any kind of insect or disease damage. Leave those, take the smaller ones, or take those that might look like they might have some damage to it, and go ahead and prune those off yourself. Otherwise, if you don't, there will be a natural fruit drop that occurs. When we're looking at apples in particular, there are two times when actually there will be fruit drop on these trees. Shortly after petal fall for about two to three weeks, simply due to lack of pollination. So we have lots of these gorgeous blooms on some of our fruit trees. And if there's not enough bees around to pollinate those trees, then those flowers will start to actually look like it's going to develop, but then they will actually fall off. And then, of course, June drop. And that's just simply because there are a lot of pollinators and a lot of flowers and we've got lots of fruits that we're starting to grow. There are some other possibilities as to why there might be fruit drop. So we want to look at that. June drop is natural. It just naturally occurs. But we also want to look at that fruit once it actually falls to the ground. So there are some different things that could happen. So for example, it could be a codling moth. So the codling moth is this picture up here. This is the larva that's going to be on the inside of that fruit. And there will probably be some sort of an injury to the outer edge of this fruit where the moth actually laid its eggs inside of that particular fruit. We can also have plum curcurio. And so you'll notice the damage that's going to be right here. And so again, naturally, this will fall off of the tree if there is a heavy fruit set. If there is not heavy fruit set, it may stay on the tree. So again, just as we think about walking through our crops when we're in the vegetable garden or the flower garden looking for insects and diseases, we also want to do that with our fruit trees as well. So if you see damage like this or anything like this, then you might want to go ahead and take that particular piece of fruit off so that it doesn't have the potential of, of hatching and then going ahead and potentially setting fruit or setting eggs and doing additional damage. A third one is going to be the oriental moth. And again, you're going to see damage on the outer edges of the fruit itself. And so as you go to prune, go ahead and take those off. If you notice, most of these insects are going to have complete metamorphosis, which means that they're going to go ahead and lay an egg. They'll come out as a larva or a caterpillar. Then they will actually come out as an adult, whether it's going to be some sort of an insect itself, a beetle type insect, whether it's a moth or it's going to be, uh, chances are it's going to be more of a moth than, than a butterfly. Another fourth reason, and again, this would be physiological, is that if we're in a drought and the trees are not getting enough water to be able to supply that fruit with the water that it needs to go through its complete maturity. So again, fruit drop in June is normal. If you see the fruit that's on the ground, go ahead and pick some up. Look for potential damage on that to make sure that it's its natural physiological way of being able to survival of the fittest of the tree. Uh, cut those fruits open to see if there's any damage on the inside. And then you'll know for sure exactly what might be occurring with drought. We know, pay attention to the weather.